Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here. So, on this video, I want to talk about uh, a conspiracy that goes on in our world with the cartoon characters, y'all. So, here's what happens. After 70 years, 70 years after the person who owns the rights to the cartoon character passes away, the cartoon character goes up for sale and whoever buys that character can do whatever they desire to do with that character now this is why this is 2023 right like let's say the world's still going on in like the year 2093 speak superman spider-man all them dudes is probably gonna be uh their characters are gonna be overhauled and they're not going to be heroes. They're going to probably be villains. Because this is what takes place. Because, see, what happens is, over time, the world becomes more evil. And uh, the evil people just pass on from generation to generation. They pass their wealth on from generation to generation. And the people who claim to be righteous or who are righteous like I talked about earlier, they don't have as much wealth because they, you know, they go about things the wrong way and they don't get the wealth. So the people with the money are connected with the devil in a lot of cases. What I want to talk about, I want to talk about the Winnie the Pooh movie, y'all. I saw it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hey man, if you can't handle like horror movies, like gore, you 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 probably don't want to see what they did with Winnie the Pooh, man. And the last scene, I believe, was traumatizing people because people that in my age group, older, a little older and younger, view Winnie the Pooh as a pure-hearted character. I ain't gonna tell y'all the movie because some of y'all might go watch it. It's on Peacock. Hey man, I'm hey listen. You can't condemn me. I watch a little bit of that stuff, man. And like I say, you gotta be humble to to for the most high to deal with us, we gotta be humble. We gotta understand that he's even with his spiritual life in us, we still are not him. I know this, so sometimes I do things that, hey man, I'm not encouraging nobody else to do, but don't think you're righteous for not doing them. If you arrogant, proud, racist, fruity duty, or any of those negative traits, but you don't watch horror movies, you ain't even getting nowhere. I'm not telling you to do it, but you ain't getting nowhere if your heart ain't right. Because if your heart is right, it's just your flesh watching it. You know, just like I play Call of Duty. But am I going to go Call of Duty people? Of course not. As long as they don't try to Call of Duty me, I ain't going to Call of Duty them. You know what I mean? So, because the heart, when the Most High revives your heart, your heart is sealed off and it's, it's set apart from the mind. The stuff that's in my mind nowadays, it don't last because the spirit will, will, will cleanse you from that. And the spirit will continue. If you stay humble before the Most High, the Most High will give you a continual cleanse. But if you start thinking and he start exalting you, because you know if you humble yourself, you're going to be exalted in some way. And you start getting proud, and now you think you a god apart from him. You got a fall coming. We seeing people fall in love for right. I see people on YouTube to be bragging about money. They all just going down one by one, man, one by one. People, like I told y'all yesterday, you start calling people losers and stuff. You already know you got a fall coming. If you if you up, if you got money and stuff like that. Enjoy it humbly. 
Because if you start calling people losers and start looking down on people, man, you're going to lose something. I'm telling you how the universe works. You start calling people losers, you're going to lose. I'm telling you. That's why you got to be careful with that, man. It's a temptation for almost everybody. But if you want to win, don't view other people that way. Just, just humble yourself. That's why he said the kingdom of heaven is for the children. Like, you know how kids, I gave y'all this example. When they're a kid, it's like, daddy. Like, they, they just think the world of you. That's how we supposed to be with him. And if you understand his power and his ability, you will be. I had to tell somebody, I was going through all type of trials and tribulations, and I told somebody like this, if you, if you give up on the most high, the devil wins by default. I said, man, I'm, I'm in here to the end. Regardless, man, if, if he wanna just keep taking me through this stuff, then you know that that's on him, that goes kind of goes against who I know him to be. You know what I mean? But I'm going to stay right here. People be giving up on the most high when people die and stuff, and we don't want nobody to die. You're supposed to pray to fend that off before it comes, man. But all of this, man, you know, people got stuff twisted up. And so what happens is they pass on their wealth to their future generations and their future generations look at characters like Winnie the Pooh and now they say Mickey Mouse. Now Mickey Mouse is up now and they say now a guy is, is a, there's a horror movie coming out with a guy killing people in a Mickey Mouse uh, mask or whatever. They gonna keep doing this stuff, man, until we get our wealth up. And, and, and I would love for my future generations to buy a villain and make them good. Like if, like when Thanos come up, make Thanos a good guy or something. Do the total opposite. That'd be great. But they gonna be. They probably gonna make. Batman, Fruity Duty, just all kind of stuff, man. Because this, this is what they do. And, and like I said, part two comes out on Valentine's Day. If your stomach can handle it, just check out what they did with Winnie the Pooh, man. Um, Winnie the Pooh, I can't. I ain't gonna tell you, but it was some up-to-date cars that he did something. He was driving and everything, man. It was crazy, man. That's ooh, man, man. You make you rethink watching horror movies, boy. That Winnie the Pooh. Mm -mm. But that's what they do, y'all. Like they change these characters over and my son was just telling me about Mickey Mouse. Not Mickey. Who they gonna get next? He-Man? Man, they do that to He-Man, man. That's it, man. I might not watch TV no more, man. If they make He-Man a bad guy and start doing stuff like that, I gotta see when He-Man is up. You know, as a kid, man, I had all the action figures. We used to, we used to have a little He-Man dive. We doing the swimming pools. Man, He-Man was like my favorite. And then I grew up like, man, this that Illuminati stuff. But I still like He-Man, man. That hey, He-Man. That was my favorite character as a kid, man. I used to watch Brave Star. Brave Star wasn't around that long. I remember Marshall Brave Star. Thundercats. I liked it, the Thundercats. And it's the childhood, man. G.I. Joe. All this stuff, man. 
we we had so many. We had Transformers, the GoBots, the Thundercats, He-Man, Smurfs, all type of stuff, man. Land of the Lost. All type of stuff, man. They ain't got nothing. Now, one time some years back, I was getting sad because it was Saturday morning and I was looking at my kids. And then I was looking at what they was watching on TV. I said, man, that is sad, man. They ain't even got no lineup, man. We used to have our parents go get me and my sister. We could never agree on the cereal. My little sister didn't care. Like, she would try to eat hers and eat mine. But my father would get her her own box and get me my own box. <laughs> we would have the boxes on the table where we can't see each other. And uh, and Saturday morning, you just you had your cereal, and you would just watch cartoons until they went off. They normally went off, what about? Was it 12, 1 o'clock, something like that? Pee Wee Herman. You know, all that stuff about Pee Wee Herman, man, that was just heartbreaking, man. And it's like I saw him return to wrestling. I was like excited almost. Like, like man, this this the childhood right here. Y'all can't take the 80s from us, man. Y'all could do all this little weird stuff, create stuff in the lab, all this old goofy philosophies they got. But they can't take the 80s from us. They trying to, like with Winnie the Pooh, they changing these characters. But the 80s was, you know, that was our time. Like, even if I go to, like, the museum downtown Milwaukee, I always go to that little area with the little, you push the button and it showed the little ants on the TV. If you're from Milwaukee, you know what I'm talking about, man, because that's when we always went to the museum, uh, as in elementary school and the teachers always made us watch that and it's still there the same exact thing so every time i go to the museum i go right in there and i'd be like man it's still here man wow but yeah they got part two coming up man winnie the pooh is a trip man what they doing to these characters man it's just unbelievable you know, and then it's weird because some of the villains, like they're how you rooting for them. Like they, like some of the bad guys, they trying to make them good now. Like how they had Jason versus Freddy, and it practically was like Jason was the good guy. You know, get to the point where you practically be rooting for the like. Like, it's strange how that stuff work on the mind. Because when I went and saw the Halloween, I, it's creepy. But I didn't like how, the, you know, you, 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 you get this twisted mindset. It's that Stockholm Syndrome. And, like, you, you get to, like, man, they put Michael Myers in the, you know what I'm saying? And then you be like, I don't think Michael dead. I don't think he is, but... That somebody, he's up for sale. Y'all see what I'm talking about? And once somebody buys the rights to that, trust me, they're going to twist the story. He'll be back. He'll be back. They're going to say that he put that other guy in there. Just like we thought in part four, we thought that was the end. Michael Myers put his costume on somebody else. But anyway, I just want to talk about that a little bit, y'all. Y'all know we be pumping out those videos. That's one of the conspiracies that they do. One of the ways that they play with our minds, man. Like, we grew up, Winnie the Pooh was a good example. Like, Winnie the Pooh taught kids how to be nice to people. Now they got them. I can't, if I say what he said, y'all going, I ain't going to give it away. Some of y'all might go watch it. But anyway, uh, we're going to make one more video later on. We ain't going to go crazy like we did yesterday. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Shout out to my new subscribers. Um, 
Shout out to those of you that have been supporting me, those of you that have been hitting the like button. If you don't want to support with money, that's support as well. Because if you hit the like button, then more people, that, that shows me that you want other people to know about my videos. Because then they'll start to recommend it. But thanks for watching.